All right, y'all. So um, this video is gonna be on Chicago. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but a lot of people have asked different people to talk about. It. Some people have asked me to talk about it. Everybody's talking about it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it now. I will say the reason I wasn't gonna talk about it is it's Chicago. All right. I mean, there's 40, 50, 60 people shot there every weekend. Now I I will say okay, yeah, this is 104 people. Um, for four days, you know, Friday through Tuesday. So, um, I will say I'm just gonna go through the basics and I'm put my opinion at the end of this. All right. Now, um, like I said, 104 people were shot, including two police officers and at least two 10 juveniles. 18 of those people died. Uh, one of the 10 juveniles who were wounded by gunfire. Two little girls, just ages five and six, were shot in separate incidents. Um, police Chicago data indicate the record shootings again about 5 p.m. on Friday and continue through 1 a.m. Tuesday. Now, again, um, 87 people were shot, 17 were killed. Now, they said the last time that that many people were shot over the full shot week in Chicago was in 2017. And in 2017, 103 people were shot Friday evening and the Wednesday morning after the holiday weekend. So, obviously, that was a little bit longer. Now, Chicago Police has staffed up ahead of the blaze weekend so far this summer. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown had known that days off were canceled and all 12,000 members of the police force will be working in 12-hour shifts throughout Independence Day weekend. Alright, um, so, some more people that were shot. A six-year-old girl and her mother were shot in the 100 block of East 119th place when a gunman and gray SUV fired shots at them. Five-year-old girl was shot in the alley in the middle of the afternoon. Several boys and girls in the 11 to 13 age group were also wounded. Um, again, like I said, two police officers were shot when they were trying to break up a crowd. So, um, again, the, the two officers are expected to survive their injuries. Um, one was shot in the foot. She was a commander, and there was also a sergeant who was shot in the thigh. Again, they are both expected to survive their injuries. Now, that being said, Chicago is one of those places where you expect violence, okay? Um, it's kind of like Portland, you know, you expect riots to continue, all right? It's kind of like New York. You expect people to get out on a no-cash bail no matter what they've done, all right? All these um, places have reputations, all right? And Chicago's reputation is you get shot. I mean, that's just pretty much what it is. Again, Portland has a reputation for riots. New York City has a reputation of, you know... You go out and assault someone, you're going to be out in a few hours. All right? That's just how how it works. All right? You gave yourself that reputation. All right? And the Chicago mayor, Lori Lightfoot, is doing nothing about it. I mean, I haven't even seen her come out with a, a statement or anything saying anything about this. But you have 104 people shot over a weekend, and, you know, you would think that you would come out with a serious comment or something to what you're trying to do to address this not gun violence like you know i also think people trying to hear about gun violence you know systematic racism that's not the problem obviously okay it's not gun violence because most of these people are gang members drug dealers stuff like that where they really don't register guns and they don't um care if their guns register or not and half time it's probably a stolen gun on top of it okay so you know, that's not the issue. And it's not systematic racism because, you know, if it was, if it was a white person shot a black person, it'd be all over the news that, oh my God, look at Chicago. Don't worry about the 70 other people that were shot and the other 40 people that were killed. We can't talk about that, but this one white person here shot that black person. Let's, let's cover that. All right. Um, but again, you know, Chicago is just out of reach with, with the world again every city has their reputation but when your reputation is that you know you go there and you get shot or you have mass shootings every weekend or you have 40 50 60 people shot now hundreds of people shot over a weekend time frame that's not a good reputation for you or your community all right and all these police officers are not going to continue to stay there all right uh, I'm sure these police officers are overwhelmed. I'm sure the detectives are overwhelmed. Um, 
like they're not going to continue doing this when there's no appreciation there and there's pretty much virtually no help from the community all right um but again let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always thank you all for watching and y'all stay safe out there